All right, everybody, this video is the next installment in our Kempo Karate Kids program, so it's for our younger students, although anyone can do this uh, workout if you'd like. Please remember to like and share this video. Give it a big thumbs up so that we know that you have seen it. Also, take a picture of yourself or record a video, post that in the comment section below. It's all, we always love seeing you working out to these videos. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna bring in Mr. Clark. Sir, come on in. And we will bow in together and then we will get started. Ready? Loop. And bow, everybody. Pepper jumps, go, start bouncing. All right, all you're doing is shaking off your day. Starting to get active. Okay, and feet together. All right, I want everybody to give me 10 jumping jacks real quick. Count them loud, count them proud. Ready, and go. One, two, three, Okay, make sure you come all the way at the top five, and then coming six, all the way down, no seven, shortcutting. Eight, nine, 10. Very good, okay. When I say go, get into your square horse stance. Ready, one, two, three, go. Hey. Hands up. Arm rotations, start small. And get really wide and just loosen them up. Oh, and back out and reverse it. Very good. And over and under. Nice. Okay, bring your feet in a little bit. Put your hands on your hips and roll your hips around, loosening up. Keep switching directions a few times one way and then a few times the other way. Okay, feet together. All right, when I say go, get your fighting stance right leg back. Ready, one, two, three, go. Ms. Clark, I'm gonna have you face me, please. Sir. Okay, now we're gonna do leg lifts. So I want you to do leg lifts. If you have a partner, I want you to find something in the room that you can use as a guide. Meaning, for me, my head height is for Mr. Clark. He's gonna do his leg lifts as high as my head. But you might be facing a wall and there might be a picture on the wall or a window and you have a specific thing that you're looking at that you wanna get your leg as high as that object. All right, so we're just gonna do five. So Mr. Clark is gonna try really hard to go as high as my head. Ready? Sir. And do it at my count. Ready? Everybody set up. Sir. And one. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. This was no problem for Mr. Clark. Go ahead and switch, sir. Ready? Switch. All right. So find that same object. You're going to do those leg lifts as high as that object is in the wall. And you've got to challenge yourself. Ready? Make it as high as you possibly can. Ready? And one. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. And sir, go ahead and face the camera. Sir. Same thing, we're gonna do our side leg lift. So Mr. Clark's gonna have his hands up and he's gonna do a side kick leg lift, which means his leg is gonna come up from the side. Now, again, find something that challenges you, something that you can look at and you wanna get that leg lift as high as that object. Now, I always used to say just as high as your head, that's as high as we wanna go. But I wanna give you something to focus on right now. So rather than as high as your head, I want you to focus on that object and your foot should get right in the way of it to where you can't see it anymore. Ready? Just five. Ready, and one. One, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Oh, you got about my chin height on that one. Go ahead and switch, sir. Sir. Yeah, this one's harder. Ready? And one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Oh, face the camera. Sir. How high did you get? Well, that's the challenge, to try and challenge yourself every time you do these leg lifts or these side leg lifts and get higher each and every time. All right, feet together. When I say go, get in your fighting stance, right leg back, sir, we're gonna go left leg back, sir. Ready, and go! Hey. All right, so we're gonna throw that jab as fast as we can. Ready, and hit, hey. 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 hit. Hey. All right, now we're gonna throw that jab, and as we do it, we're gonna shuffle forward twice. So we're gonna throw two jabs, hey. Hey. and freeze. Ready, and hit, hey. hit, hey. hey. hit. All right, now Master Clark's caught up with me, so I'm gonna shuffle back and do two more. Ready, shuffling back, and hit, hey. hit, hey. hit. Hey. Shuffle forward and hit, 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 hit. Shuffle back and hit, 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 hit. Shuffle back or forward, ready and hit, 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 hit. Shuffle back and hit, 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 hit. Shuffle forward and hit, 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 hit. And feet together. Sir. Not bad. Check it out. All right. Now we're going to go fighting stance left leg back. Ready? Go! Hit. All right. Same thing, just a few jabs right where you are. No shuffle. Ready? And hit, 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 hit. 
gonna start that shuffle. Ready? And hit, 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 and hit, 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 and 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 hit, hit, hit. Oh, fit together, not bad. Give yourself a hand. All right, shake it out, shake it out. All right, so let's get into your fighting set. Mister, I'm gonna have you step in the center, sir. All right. So again, fighting center, right leg back. Ready? Go. All right, so we're gonna work the front kick. Now, we're using that concept of having something in your eye line, whether it's a person that you're working with at home or something on the wall. I want you to find something, you're gonna kick that high every single time. With Mr. Clark, this is gonna be his target. So I'm gonna hold it at different heights. But for you, you're not, unless you have someone at home right now, I don't want you to really kick a pad right now. It's all about the tuck and all about the front kick. That's the kick we're gonna do. So we're just looking to see target, but not striking anything. So, ready, sir. We're gonna start with a few low ones. So find a low target, ready, sir. Good tuck, good kick. Let's do it, not as fast as we can. Let's start off at a medium pace, ready, sir. And kick, Hush. and kick. a higher target to aim at, but again, we're not kicking it, we're just using it as a reference point. Ready? Sir. And kick. Hush! Just this high, don't even go any higher. Ready? Sir. And kick. Hush! And kick. Hush! All right, now I'm gonna pick the highest one. I'm gonna challenge myself. So find something that you're looking at, and you gotta kick that high. Ready? And kick. Hush! Whoa, and kick. Hush! Mr. Clark's got a high kick. And kick. Hush! All right. Now that was easy. So we got it, we kind of warmed up a little bit. Now we're gonna put a little strength into it. We're gonna put a little black belt attitude. So this time I'm gonna do too low, too medium, and too high, but I'm gonna move a lot faster. I want you guys to keep up with me. So you're gonna do it on my count. Everybody should be in their fighting stance right now. Ready? Let me see, hands are up. Good fighting stance. Ready? Sorry. Two kicks low and kick, heist, and kick, heist. Very good, wait for me to tell you to kick. Sorry, sir. Two kicks medium, ready, and kick, heist, kick, heist. And just two kicks high, ready, and kick, heist, kick, heist. Hey, air five, Mr. Clark, boom. <laughs> that was awesome, he's got great kick. Go ahead and switch your stance, sir. All right, take that belt. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. You can use the same target, whatever you're looking at. This is how you visualize what you're doing. So you get in a good stance. You wanna make sure you get that tuck up. Everybody say, knee before kick. Knee before kick, sir. That's the secret, knee before kick, ready? Sir. So when we do this, I'm gonna do too low. We're gonna go very slow, again, you're not hitting anything right now. You're just using whatever target you pick, whether it's a doorknob or whether it's something, a light, a light fixture, to where you're just looking at something and you're using it as the reference point to how high you're gonna kick, but make sure you're far enough away back from it that you're not gonna touch it. You ready? Sir. And you can be all the way across the room. As long as you can see it, you can kick that high. Ready? Sir. So we're gonna go low. And kick. Heist. And kick. Heist. Nice and easy. We're gonna go medium. Ready? Sir. And kick. Heist. And kick. Heist. Now we're gonna go high. Ready? And kick. Heist. And kick. Heist. Very good. All right, now we're warmed up a little more, so we're gonna put some strength into it. Train with passion. Here we go. Ready? And kick. Heist. Kick. Heist. And kick. Heist. Kick. Heist. And kick. Heist. Kick. Heist. Very nice. Air five, Mr. Clark. That's good, air five to you, boom. All right, good kicking. Let's go ahead and put that reference point away. So we're gonna start with this exercise that's for working your stances and working your transitional switches. So when I say go, I want you to get into your fighting stance right leg back. Ready, one, two, three, go, Hey. Okay, now from this drill, circle, we'll get even together right sure. here. Okay, so from this drill, all we're gonna do is jab, cross, then we're gonna switch jab, cross, and then switch back to our original position. So we're gonna have two switches, ready? So we'll do it really easy, real slow, ready? And hit, eight, eight, switch, eight, eight, switch. Working those stances, once you see your stance, check down, look at your feet, make sure you've got a good stance. Very nice, ready? So again, nice and easy. Eight, eight, switch, eight, eight, switch. Okay, ready? Good, Mr. Clark, checking the stance. Ready, when I say hit, you do this last one. Ready, and hit, eight, eight, switch, eight, eight, switch. Nice. Okay, switch your stance, we're gonna do 
the other side. Ready? And hit! Eight, eight, switch! Eight, eight, switch! Every time, ready? And hit! Eight, eight, switch! Eight, eight, switch! Very good, check in that stance, ready? Last one, best one. And hit! Eight, eight, switch! Eight, eight, switch! Very nice, feet together. Give yourself a hand, good job. Okay, we're gonna do that same thing, but this time we're gonna do it with the front kick. Sir, jump in the center. Sir. All right, so I wanna get you in your good stance, right leg back. Ready, one, two, three, go! Hey. Very nice. Okay, now again, everybody say, knee before kick. Knee before kick, sir. Make sure you work the tuck. So we're gonna do three tucks first, just to practice our tucks, and hold it for the count of three. Ready, sir? sir. Tuck and hold it for the count of three, go. One, two, three, down. Okay, so make sure that tuck comes up strong and hold it. Ready, and sure. go. One, two, three, down. Perfect, one more time, and go. One, two, three, down. Whoa, yeah, that's right. All right, go ahead and switch your stance. Start, start. That's it, sometimes we get the wiggles. Ready? And tuck. One, two, three, down. That's the challenge to hold that balance, keeping your hands high. When you have your tuck up, it should be flat enough to where you can put a drink on it and it wouldn't spill. And bring it all the way back. Ready? Sir. Don't keep that knee pointed down, keep it up. Ready? And tuck. One, two, three, down. Last one, ready? And tuck. One, two, three, down. Okay, go ahead and switch your stance. Sir. Now, on this drill, we're gonna do a front kick switch, front kick switch. So, so I'm gonna let you demonstrate real Sir. quick. Ready, and go. Hey. Front kick, switch, hey. front kick, switch. Same thing we did with our punches, but this time we're using our front kick. Now, every time you switch, you're in a good stance. I want you to watch Mr. Clark, watch how good his hands are, watch how good his stance is. Ready? We're gonna do it slow again, sir. Ready, sir? And go. Height! Height! That's very good, nice and smooth. He's checking his stance. You check your stance too, hands up. Again, nice and smooth. Ready, and go. Height! Height! Very nice. All right, we're only gonna do two really fast. You can do as many as you want when you're practicing, but we're gonna demonstrate two. Ready, sir? All right, sir, ready, and Height! 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 Very nice, black belt intensity. Height! Height! Very good. Excellent, that's all right, it's good, get together. All right, let's switch sides, ready? And sure. go. Hey. Everybody should be five sets, other side back. All right, now on my count, let's do it nice and slow. Ready, and one. Hey. Hey. Very good, Mr. Clark, ready? Checking that stance, and two. Hey. Hey. Very good, ready? One more time, and three. Hey. Hey. All right, on my count this time, we're gonna do two, just two, real fast. Ready, hands are up. Get those knees bent, ready to explode. Ready, and hit! Hit! Nice hey. transition. Whoa, watch yourself. Don't lean backwards. <laughs> Gotta keep yourself centered. Ready? <laughs> and go! Hit! Hit! Nice, feet together, give them a hand. Good job. Excellent job. All right, Sir, right here. Sir. Everybody should be nice and warmed up. Okay, let's talk about Inward blocking defense. Everyone should know this technique, but let's do it just in case. Inward blocking defense is for a right punch, right leg lead. Meaning somebody's coming in and they're coming in and they're trying to punch you and they're really reaching for you, okay? So we're gonna use our inward block. So from standing position, everybody do what I do, say what I say. Step back with the left. Step back with the left. And we're blocked with the right. And we're blocked with the right. Chop with the right. Chop with the right. And step back and cover. Cover up. Very good, feet together. Sir. Everybody say, inward blocking defense. Inward blocking defense, sir. All right. Step back with the left. Step back with the left. Inward block with the right. Inward block with the right. Chop with the right. Chop with the right. Step back and cover. Step back and cover, sir. Feet together. Yes, sir. Now we're gonna add a little intensity to this technique. We're gonna keep doing it slow right now, and then I'm gonna ask you to do it three times fast. But before we do, we're gonna add something to it. So this time, when you step back and block, I want you to shuffle forward and ice and chop and then cover. So, again, after you step back and block, I want you to shuffle in, eight, and cover. All right, feet together, sir. So I'm gonna have you take the center and lead this sir. slowly. You're gonna do the whole technique when I say go. Everybody say, inward blocking defense. Inward blocking defense, sir. Ready, and go. Hey! Very nice, let's do it again. Sir, could you face that direction for me, please? Sir. Ready, and go. Hey! Good, look at that shuffle. Look how strong he comes in with that chop. All right, face front one more time. Last one, ready? 
Oh, you know what? Let's face this direction. So Sir, see both sides. Ready? And go. <laughs> Very nice. All right, feet together. So inward blocking defense. Let's do it one more time slowly with me, and we're going to include the shuffle this time. Ready? Step back to the left. Step back to the left. And we're blocked with the right. And we're blocked with the right. Shuffle in. Shuffle in. Chop. Chop. And cover. Cover up, sir. Now, when we know when we do the technique, after I block, I'm going to shuffle in with the chop. That's going to all happen at the same time. So that is inward blocking defense. Let's go a little more advanced, and let's work crouching falcon. All right? Crouching falcon is when someone comes in and they're reaching for you. Okay, so they're coming in to grab you or push you. And we're gonna use our wedge block. Everybody do a wedge block for me. Now the way you do a wedge block is all I want you to do is put your hands out like you're telling someone to stop, turn the fingers in and point towards each other. That's the game. Hands out, Say, tell someone to stop, put the fingers in, now make some claws. Okay, ready, Get together. So with Crouching Falcon, as they come in to push, we're gonna step in with our right leg and do our wedge block. Now, my left hand is gonna grab their arm as my right hand comes all the way up in elbow, and I'm gonna pull that arm into my belt side, and palm claw, and then step back, come around. Very good, crouching falcon. So again, remember that wedge block is like telling someone to stop, but pointing the fingers towards each other. Ready? Step in with the right, and do your wedge block, and go. Let's do it again, we'll do the same thing. Do what I do, say what I say. Step in with the right, step in with the right. Wedge block, wedge block. Counter grab with the left. Counter grab with the left. Pull to your belt side. Pull to your belt side. Elbow up. Elbow up. Palm claw. Palm claw. And cover. Cover up, sir. Good. Let's do it. Everybody say, crouching falcon. Crouching falcon, sir. Step in with the right. Step in with the right. Wedge block. Wedge block. Counter grab with the left. Counter grab with the left. Pull to your belt side. Pull to your belt side. Elbow. Elbow. Palm claw. Palm claw. And cover. Cover up, sir. Now, when we do this technique, obviously it gets a little more intense. <coughs> and it gets a little faster. But for now, we're gonna do it slowly. Ready? Step in a wedge block. Boom! Wedge block. This time, counter grab and rising elbow. Boom. You pulled it into your belt side, palm claw. And cover. Again, one more time, we're doing crouching falcon, say it. Crouching falcon, sir! All right, step in a wedge block. Step in a wedge block. Now you're gonna counter grab counter and grab. pull an elbow. Boom! Palm, palm claw. Palm claw. And cover out. Cover out, sir. Very good. Feet together. Give yourself a hand. Those are good techniques. All right. So I know there was a third technique. I'm going to have to reach for it because all Chinese of a sudden jump. I forgot. Chinese jump. Thank you, sir. Your memory is better than mine. So we're going to do Chinese jump. So Chinese jump is for two opponents. Someone in the front punching or grabbing at you. And the other person is just behind you, maybe with a hand on the shoulder. Right? Someone that's close by to you. So... We're going to do this technique first. We're going to work our inward block and our back hammer fist. Because at the same time I block, take your left hand and block the punch. Do it again, block the punch. At the same time I block the punch, I hammer fist to the groin of the opponent. So I do it like this. Sir, could you face that way for me, sir? So when we do it, it looks like this. One, two, three. So it's all happening at the same time. So that's the first part of the technique. As the punch or grab comes in, you're gonna block it and hammer fist the opponent. Boom, just like that. Okay, one more time. Ready and go. Ready and go. Now there are two kicks that are gonna happen. So I'm gonna have you take the center for me. Sir. We're gonna do it from the front and then I'm gonna have Mr. Clark's uh, face to the left side. Ready? So as you're doing this, after you, as you're doing the inward block and hammer fist, we're gonna throw a right front kick. Ready? and go and put it down now there's another kick but we're just going to work on this so stand at attention so from this one we're going to go boom here and throw that front kick at the same time ready and go one more time ready and go so what happens now is sir could you face me sir as i'm throwing the punch he's going to do that inward block oh, i'm sorry inward block go and do your front kick at the same time boom just like so Okay, one more time. I throw the punch and we're blocked. Ugh, and it kicked down, okay? So now we got we hit here the hammer fist from the person behind us, but now we're gonna add a rear kick. So it's gonna look like this. So I'm gonna have you be in the center. Sir. Ready and go. Step out and cover. Very good. Let's do it again. Sir. 
Ready? And go. All right, sir, can you face to your right? Sir. Okay, same thing, ready? Watch how you do the rear kick immediately after the front kick. So you, when you do your front kick, you have to come from good tuck, front kick, back to a good tuck, and the rear kick. Ready? Sir. And go. And then see how he steps forward and crosses out. Sir, go ahead and do that again. And once you cross out, I want you to freeze when your legs are crossed. Ready? Sir. And go. Cross, freeze. Now he steps out again. And then he just steps backwards. This is after you created the first crossover, Mr. Park. I want you to just step back. Just like yes, that. sir. Okay, let's do it again. Ready? So Chinese junk. Chinese junk, sir. And go. Cross over. Step back. Okay, one more time this way. Ready? And go. Nice. Looking good, sir. Feet together. Thank you, sir. Okay. So when we practice this technique, practice it slowly. So at first, get to where we're doing the inward block in the hammer fist. Get that down, and then add your front kick. Boom, back to your tuck, put it down. Boom, back to your tuck, put it down. Boom, back to your tuck, put it down. Now, if you've noticed, when he did the rear kick, something else happened. Did everybody see it? That's right, palm heel strike. So that's one of the ways you keep your balance. Go ahead and face this way again. Sir. I'm gonna do I'm gonna slow you down, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and hold your shoulder a little bit. Sir. Do your inward block and do your front kick and freeze. And now as he leans forward, the palm heel comes back and boom. And down. Let's do it again. Ready? Sir. We're gonna slow it down because I kind of didn't I skipped over that. Ready? Inward block. And Rear kick, boom, and cover, all the way through. All right, let's do that again. I got so excited to finish the technique, I forgot to announce the palm hill. <laughs> I love Kempo. All right, so that technique might take a little more practice. So spend as much time as you need on it, because that's your, gonna be your technique for the week. We're gonna do that in our Zoom classes away as well. And by the way, if you haven't signed up for the Zoom classes and you've been getting those emails, Give it a try. We're seeing a lot of good progress. A lot of students are earning tracks. And we've even had a few take their belt test from what they're doing on Zoom. We're very proud of these students and we're also proud of all of you. If you can't have access to Zoom and you're using the YouTube videos and the Facebook videos, just keep practicing. I'm getting a bunch of our training logs sent to me and I appreciate all of those. I'm keeping track of all of that. So if you haven't got the training log or the email, or you may have lost it, let me know and I'll send you that email for the training log. Now, one last thing we're gonna to do today, and this will be if your parents have time to help you. So we're gonna grab the kick shield and I'm gonna have you work the two drills that you did earlier without a shield with the shield. So in this case, Mr. Clark's gonna face me and he's gonna get in his fighting stance right like that. Okay, now if you, I'm gonna hold the pad up here. Parents, if you got pillows that are soft or cushions, you can hold them out away from you because we're not trying to kick or hit hard right now. So students, I want you to listen up. This isn't about power. I don't want you to try and hit hard. You can go fast, but don't try and blast through your pillows and cushions. Now, if you have some of your own training pads at home, go as hard as you want because these things are built for it, but not so much pillows and cushions. Let's be lighter on those. So I'm gonna hold this one close to my body because Mr. Clark can hit it as hard as he wants, but I'm gonna ask him to go slowly so they can see. Yes, sir. Okay. So we're gonna do our jab, cross, switch, jab, cross, switch. And we're gonna go very, very slowly. Ready? Sir. Working your key eyes, good form. And hit, hoo, 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 hoo. And he switches again. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's make sure that we're working our switch and getting into that good stance. So when he does it, he's gonna hit, hoo, 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 hoo. Now, he's checking his stance. Now I can add stuff to this, so now I'm gonna jab, cross, rising knee. Ready, right, ready, and go. That's it, one more time, ready, and go. Very good. And now we're gonna work that front kick, ready? Now parents, at any time you wanna stop a video and have them work more than we're working, please do that. These videos are made to guide you, but not necessarily be the entire workout. You guys can use this material and work it as much as you want. So come over here, let's do the front kick. We're gonna do three rotations. Ready? And kick. Pace! Pace! Very good. Pace! 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 Very good. Now I had 
have Mr. Clark do all three at one time and add a little bit of intensity to that. Or parents, you can tell them to hit and they'll do one and switch and then hit and you can alternate it and control it however you want. But these are some good drills for you to work at home. And they'll keep you sharp and keep your tempo strong. Mr. Clark, thank you for your help today. Sir, sir, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> no, I was gonna say. Brandon, you gotta edit that part. Just wait till it Mr. Clark's tired, sorry. That's okay. All right. Start it, wait, wait, wait. Brandon, you're editing it to now. I'm gonna start right now. Okay, guys, that was the workout for today. I want you to be, please remember again to like and share these videos. These videos are free on Facebook for everybody that's in quarantine and they need some outlet for that energy, especially our young people. You know, this is an important time for all of us. It's, it's a, it has that blessing and curse mentality. It's forced a lot of us to reevaluate what our priorities are and it's given us the opportunity to really work on our family dynamic. And, and you know, that's, that's the blessing. The hard part of this we won't even talk about because we know what that is. We're all juggling school and work and, and just becoming more than we used to be to accommodate this feeling of being stuck at home. But I want you guys to focus on the positive. As far as our karate is concerned, our kempo is concerned, we've stayed connected through these video lessons. And although it's not how we want it, man, you guys have done awesome. And I'm seeing so much progress and I am so proud of you. And that light at the end of the tunnel to where we're gonna to be together as soon is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's not gonna be much longer, I think. So stay focused, be safe, and train with passion. Be together until we see you again. And bow. All right, love and appreciate you all. Be safe and I'll see you in the next class.